Hi, I'm Scott Link, and this is another video installment from Puptip Media. Today we're going technical and looking at one of the most important but often overlooked aspects of video production, audio. In a few moments, I'm going to be comparing a shotgun microphone and a hypercardioid microphone in a studio environment for interview or dialogue recording. I've already done a fairly extensive test with a hypercardioid microphone in a very live and reflective environment, and you can check out that video if you want. Many times we video guys can get caught up in the image and, and what camera we're using and lens and the settings and coloring and placement and angles and what kind of post treatment we're going to do and everything else that goes along with video production and video capturing. We often let audio slip into a second rate kind of category. The fastest way to have a video that you produce be considered amateur is to have poor audio. Imagine if I was shooting this video like this with the on-camera microphone. I doubt you'd watch past five seconds. If I know what I'm doing, my videos will sound more like this. For this video, I'm using an overhead boom mic to capture my audio. In this setting, you could also use a lavalier mic. There are tons of articles and videos and all kinds of tutorials out there where that can help you learn how to capture and edit audio better. But I want to show you kind of the differences between using a shotgun mic and a hypercardioid mic inside a studio environment. So let's get to that. So when using a boom or overhead miking technique, which microphone should you use? If I'm outdoors, I almost exclusively use a shotgun microphone in a wind-protected enclosure. One like this. This is an older Sennheiser 816 shotgun mic in a blimp with a full muff. Sennheiser makes a 416 version which is considerably shorter than this and it is considered by many to be the industry standard. It is an expensive setup. You can definitely find cheaper alternatives out there, but do your research. Know this though, even a $50 shotgun mic is going to sound better than your on-camera microphone. So here's the microphone outside the enclosure, the 816. The design of a shotgun makes it ideal for boom operation. Um, you can see these grooves here on the side. Um, they allow sound waves to enter and provide cancellation for off-axis audio. If you don't know what that means, just Google microphone pickup patterns or polar patterns. There's some great resources out there that go into detail about how microphones work. For our purposes, just know that the shotgun mic rejects noise from the sides and the rear. It does not, however, reject all noise from the sides and the rear. And that brings us to the reason for this comparison today. In a smaller room, echoes from the source audio may bounce back into the microphone and not be completely canceled out. Many people report hearing some odd phasing or echoes when using a shotgun mic inside. They suggest using a microphone with a hypercardioid pickup pattern. It's similar to the shotgun, rejects more audio to the rear, and doesn't suffer from the phasing and echo issues that a shotgun mic does because it doesn't have the grooves on the side. I have here an Audix SCX1 with a hypercardioid capsule. It's a mid-level microphone, costs about $500. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have any of the grooves on the side like a shotgun does. It's considerably shorter than the 816, but it's also shorter than the 416 or any of the newer shotgun mics out there just by the way it's designed. Um, in a moment, I'll hang both in an overhead position and I'll recite a little bit, read a little bit. I'm recording into a Zoom H4N with onboard phantom power. Uh, the room has uh, carpet, has acoustic tile ceilings that are fairly high. Uh, some cloth on the walls, obviously cloth on the backdrop. Um, the exposed walls are drywall, they're parallel, uh, they're obviously not soundproof. Uh, you can definitely hear traffic and airplanes, and right now, if you listen, you can hear the sound of a generator that's running two stories below us on the sidewalk. And so in a minute, we'll set up both these microphones in an overhead position, and I'll talk a little bit into each and we'll A-B them. All right, we're back and we're set up for the comparison. Um, over here, you see we have the Audix SCX1, and right here we have the Sennheiser 816. Um, I left it in the blimp, but uh, took the muff off to try to give it a little bit more um, even comparison. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. So first, we're going to start out with the Sennheiser. I'll be reading out of uh, Genesis chapter 1, just for reference sake. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And there was evening and there was morning on the first day. All right. Now let's switch and let's do the audix. Same passage. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, 
and the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And there was evening, and there was morning on the first day. All right, now we're going to switch back and forth. Same passage. And we'll start out with Sennheiser and switch back and forth. I'll make sure I note on the screen what we're listening to. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. And he called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and morning on the first day. All right. Now I'm going to set up for something, and it's the most unfair test in the world. I mean, it's, it's bad enough that we have a generator two flights down that we can hear, but in just a second, um, I'm going to show you an even worse sound environment, and we'll take a test and see what the difference between these microphones and the on-camera microphone really is. Okay, are you ready for the most unfair test? This is a hair dryer. It's mounted to a stand here in the studio. In just a minute, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put it about five, six feet away. And we're going to see just how well these two microphones do at rejecting audio in a very, very noisy environment. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to read the same passage, and we'll A-B between the microphones that are above me and the on-camera microphone. Okay, so all settings are the same. So here we go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There is without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and morning on the first day. So what would you think? Did the cheaper hypercardioid outperform the more expensive shotgun in this environment, or did the shotgun do better? Let me know in the comments. And regardless of which microphone you thought did better, or which one you liked best, do yourself and your viewers a favor and learn how to properly capture audio for video. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. Oh, the petty puppy. The petty puppy. Good dog.